All right, greetings, salutations, and all those good things. I am Celestial Saturn, and I'm back with Darkest Tales. We're continuing on the climb of this tree to go kill Peter Pan for the elixir of youth. And if I fall, I may just scream into the void. And uh, full disclosure, I'm also making a pizza outside, so if you end up hearing like a little alarm thing, that's just for me to go get my pizza, okay? Okay. And we all know that I suck at platforming, but I'm slowly but surely getting better. And I am stalling more, like for more than enough time. So we're gonna go ahead and get back in it and see how far up we can get. I am scared, guys. I am very scared. The flying monkeys are after me. Oh, I hate you. Oh, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. I hate you. Ooh, I hate you. The only f good flying monkey is a dead flying monkey. No, no, no. We're going... Okay. No, no! Die, die, die. Oof. Okay. Oops, wrong. Okay. <sighs> okay. guys don't understand just how terrified I am of falling. Okay. No! No, 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 no! You know what? All the way down. Thank <laughs> you. 
downright terrifying. I can hardly believe we're in Alicia's dreams. And unfortunately, it's just going to get worse and worse. These demons are feeding on her subconscious, her emotions, and her feelings. Who knows what will happen to her mind if we don't destroy them quickly? Whoever's doing all this to her will pay. I can assure you of that. Okay. That does not bode well. Are we allowed to be in? Nope. We're not allowed to be over there. Hooray. We, we learned. So what are we supposed to do? Oh, I see what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to fly. No, not again. I gotta fly and, and hurt them. Well, at least we don't have far to go. They're little and cute and wonderful, but man, do I do not like them. I understand I'm the one trying to end their lives, so they're going to try to end my lives in self-defense. But sometimes you just got to wonder. Bloody inkwell. Watch out, bear, right behind you. There's nothing behind me. Only my shadow. Oh, bring it on. Are you serious? We gotta fight. Oh. Peter Pan Shap. I actually went into that one. Let me guess.
anyone else believe something else was supposed to happen? I think. Okay, hold on. Wait, why aren't you killing me? to put my pizza. Alright. Now let's try this again. Watch out, bear! Right behind you! There's nothing behind me. Only my shadow. Oh, bring it on! Oh, he's milking Peter? Oh. that was supposed to happen. God dang it. I was actually doing okay. And I let myself get hit there. You're just showing me where the stand hit you. Save me from that shadow. You little brat. Did nobody ever teach you manners? You're all the same, you grown ups. You think you can teach us how to live, how to be wise. But just because you don't have much longer to live, it doesn't mean you can carry on living through us. I don't claim to be the wisest, but I'm not stupid enough to believe you're a normal kid. You stink of death. You were controlling that shadow, weren't you? You're a shrewd one, Grandpa. I'll make you an offer. I'll allow you to drink from my fountain of youth. A single drop could make you at least ten years younger. And I'll let you go. I'd rather not fight. It would risk ruining my flawless skin. This thing. Don't tell me it's- It's an elixir of youth. Don't make that face. All those brats ever thought about was playing games. It didn't take much for me to lure them with my pan flute. Like so many mice. Kill those other demons because it was my duty, but with you, it's personal. 
Percival. I'm gonna cut you to pieces. Oh, Lord. Not again with you. Uh. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I, if I hit the shadow, it still hurts him. So that's that's good. Hey. Hey, buddy. I actually did pretty good for him throwing me in the air like that. God, this is even worse. Oh, when did I start playing uh, Cult of the Lamb? afraid of their own shadow achievement unlocked screw you peter pan and everything about you Again. fuck you look who came back to see me it's the and cheshire cat who you are. that's who what it you is from me who do you think i am a sadistic nightmare demon you really are a very astute bear. I'll be whatever you want, Teddy. And my first duty as a demon will be to open your eyes. As if I could trust. Let's talk about the monster you just defeated. Doesn't it seem strange to you that a creature so full of selfishness, so rotten and treacherous, could live in the dreams of a little girl? Where are you going with this? Wait. That Cheshire oh, cat is messing well. with your head. Uh, my head's spinning. Do you really believe a monster can dwell in the mind of someone who doesn't share the same darkness? How dare you compare Alicia to a little boy who steals human lives out of pure selfishness? I won't let you talk about her like that. Ooh, we get very riled up when it comes to your little girl, don't we? Believe what you like. The truth is that I mainly wanted to distract you and waste time. Distract me from what? I saw those teeth. From the fact uh. that even as we speak, I'm slowly absorbing your powers. You... what? Don't worry. I did it last time as well. <laughs> you won't die. Consider it a tool for enjoying a friendly chat with a demon. You cursed. See you soon, my dear. We will meet again. Of that you can be sure. Bear, are you okay? This is a wretched place. We need to leave. Under 
normal circumstances, I wouldn't worry about you. But right now, Alicia's safety is at stake. Please, be very careful. These nightmare creatures are treacherous and dangerous. If you get the chance, kill them without hesitation. Can you keep going? Yes, feeling better already. Don't worry about me. Where is he at? Hey, you! Hey, you can come out now! What? We have Mine's a plastic over. plate! Huh? We have a plastic plate! No, I don't have a plastic plate! I did it! I defeated the demon boy! You did it? Alright, alright. We did it. Go away. Where is my last wish? Here it is. How much do I have to drink? A sip? A glass? A bottle? Well, the little boy said... The kid said the stronger the drinker's magic, the more he needs. A creature as powerful as you will need a lot. Drink your fill. Oh, well, that said, is kid, cool. I'm so powerful that I'll drink it all, just to be sure. Wait. What's happening to me? I'm uh, disappearing! So long, jabbering genie. Enjoy a few million years of rejuvenation. Uh, uh, be careful what you wish Where for. You tricked him. Remember, we're still in Alicia's mind. Is this what you want to teach her? Don't lecture me. The moral is clear. Be careful what you wish for, or you might end up getting annihilated at the hands of a vengeful bear. Fair enough. I know you have fur where your brain should be, but still. How much longer are you gonna keep this up? Instead of wasting time moaning, where to next? We could fly back to the pirate ship and set sail to our next destination. I, after passing three tests, I deserve a pirate ship of my own. Arr. <laughs> Wait, do I have to walk there? You telling me I got to walk? Ah, <sighs> hold on. All right. It looks like a brain. You got the hang of it. At this rate, we'll get to the ship in no time. Please just keep quiet for once. When you talk, it usually brings bad luck. Just then, a sudden gust of wind blew out of nowhere. The fairy dust scattered on the wind, and the unfortunate bear began to fall. He fell into the deep blue sea. Teddy gasped for air. His fur was soaked through, and he struggled to stay afloat. He hadn't noticed that the ominous black smudge below him was getting bigger and bigger. An enormous and terrible dogfish emerged from the waves and swallowed them whole, before sinking back to the depths of the sea. Teddy and Lighty found themselves in the dark, fetid belly of the beast. Bear, can you hear me? Are you still in one piece? Why are you always screaming? I'm fine. Luckily... Wait until we get out of here alive before saying that. Okay, I am going to stop this here because that was a pretty, pretty good spot to stop for. I'm pretty sure this will be like one of my shorter videos of this. We are currently in... in the what? We're pretty much going to continue on when we get back. It is the madness. So we are in the belly of the beast, and I believe this is where we get more of a Pinocchio thing. And good on them for not making it the belly of a whale, but instead like a shark or a type of fish, because if you ever knew, whales can't really swallow anything that's bigger than like a grapefruit or a pineapple or so. Yeah, so they will easily choke. But 
this is where I'm going to stop it for now. You can see how long I've been working on this. But as always, like, comment, subscribe, tell me, tell me if I'm doing better at this, to be honest. Because like I've said in the ones before, platforming isn't really my thing, but it's like I'm slowly getting better. But after what, two, three parts in the whole dealing with Snow White and the genie and all of them, it's hard to say. So like, I'll see you in this, in this game next week, which will probably be well beyond where I am right now. But who knows?